I grew up watching this as a kid, so watching it now is just like, it's kind of surreal, actually. Not on the real news. Oh my God, because fake news. Oh my gosh, is this like, oh, what show is this? I have no idea what it is. I just know her name's Roseanne. Roseanne is back. That's right. Oh, Roseanne. Oh, Roseanne, I love. We just watched the uh, first episode. Honestly, I could just vibe to this music. I did love the show. Back in the day. I have such a pure love for just like family sitcoms that are dysfunctionally wacky. Ever since like Full House did the Fuller House, all these old shows are coming back. <laughs> Isn't that like her signature laugh? She still sounds the same. Oh my gosh, it takes me back. I actually love television theme songs. I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to that. And this is one that I would listen to all the time. So that was the opening for the new season of Roseanne. Yeah. I guess I was a kid when it was really like in its heyday. Growing up as I did in kind of a, you know, smaller town, you could relate to the Connors and I think that it's good that they're back. Roseanne's been tweeting some stuff that I don't agree with and so I thought I'm not giving her my money this time. I never watched the show. I just didn't didn't strike me at all. The show originally ran from 1988 to 1997, so we have the original opening to show now. It ran that long. Looks the same. It's pretty much the same. Still them going around the table, which is brilliant. It makes sense. Why would you change your iconic thing when that's what people know it as? I grew up watching this as a kid, so watching it now is just like, it's kind of surreal, actually. It's a reflection of the times in a big way. The hairstyles, the clothing, like... I always try and tell my kids, like, this is what it was like when, <laughs> when I was a kid. And the laugh again. You look at the world right now and you're like, it's so chaotic, I wish we could go back to those simpler times. Like, I'm actually getting a little teary-eyed, like a little misty-eyed thinking about it. We now have some clips from the earlier episodes of the new season to show you. Okay, cool. I know, I'm gonna love them. Damn it! Okay, you guys have gotta talk this out simply. <laughs> Nasty oh, woman. Right here, pussy hat in hand. Aw, uh, <laughs> gotta love Laurie Metcalf, man. Knee still giving you trouble, Roseanne? Why don't you get that fixed with the new health care all you suckers got promised? It works good enough to kick your ass, Snowflake. Oh, that's a zinger. There you go. All you people go straight to the violence. Wow. Oh, that's such a stereotype. Oh. <laughs> where are you going? I just realized we got kids in the house and I can't remember where we hid our gun. <laughs> oh. ah! I love it. I, that's my kind of humor, though. I want to watch the show for the lady wearing the nasty woman shirt. There are families out there that probably are dealing with this, where you have uh, Trump supporters and Hillary supporters, and sometimes people don't know how to handle it because it becomes very emotional. Morning, Granny Rose. Morning, Mar. Morning, Grandpa. Morning, son. Oh, come here. I got to fix your hair. You got a little piece of it. <laughs> Darlene says just ignore it. He's exploring. Oh. May the winds fill his sails and carry him to the boys' section of Target. <laughs> wow. So they really are touching on everything. They want to be relevant in what's going on now, being more acceptable of what this kid is trying to do. I appreciate the fact that she's bringing all these issues to light. It's working. I, that would be something that would bring me in. How could you have voted for him, Roseanne? He talked about jobs, Jackie. He said he'd shake things up. Assuming they're talking about jobs? I mean, this might come as a complete shock to you, but we almost lost our house the way things are going. Have you looked at the news? Because now things are worse. Not on the real news. Oh, oh my God, because fake news. Real news. Oh, oh, the real news and the fake news. Being able to bring humor to that, I think, is, is really important because whether they have two polarizing viewpoints, it still brings them together and hopefully has a discussion and ultimately a resolution. You just can't stand for anybody to have their own opinions uh, about I anything. did, I loved this part. So you tell them how stupid they are all the time and you get them to question what they believe in their heart is the right thing to do until they make some enormous mistake that tears America apart and brings the world to the brink of nuclear <laughs> apocalypse. Oh my gosh. I didn't mean to imply that you're some right-wing jackass. Wow. I should have tried to understand why you voted the crazy way that you did. Oh my God, that's what us liberals do. <laughs> we don't well, I stop. Understood that, you know, you want the government to give everybody free health care because you're a good
good-hearted person who can't do simple math. <laughs> oh. Oh. Watching them two go at it reminds me of discussions that I've had with people who just will not budge about any viewpoint. They're just taking jabs. They need to sign up for one of those YouTube fights. It wasn't super leaning in one direction. It was just a character who supports Trump and a character who doesn't, and they were arguing. It's good to have conversations about this, and what I hate the most is when people don't want to have conversations because their minds are so made up. Okay, I'm gonna ask you something kind I of I love adult. this scene a lot. I think you can handle it. Do you feel like you're a boy or a girl? A boy. Wow. So what's up with the girls' clothes? This just feels like me. I like colors that pop. I mean, I do too. You've got to pick your fights in life. How important is this to you? It's important. Aww. Well, you know it's going to be rough on you at school, right? But we'll back you up. <sighs> oh. That's f***ing good. That is not where I thought the conversation was going to go. I thought she was gonna be more hard-lined and say you can or cannot do this, et cetera, but I was surprised and ha rather happy that she that it did go that way. It's a good, honest conversation to have. Like, if this is if this is something you feel strongly about, I'm gonna back you up. I was writing it off before I really gave it a chance. Like, I did love the original, and it really did deal with society's issues, and it looks like the reboot is doing the same thing, so maybe I'll give it a chance and try to listen to the other side. So the first episode of the Roseanne reboot received massive views. Yeah, I mean, th there was a lot of people that liked the show. 18 million people tuned into the premiere. It was so popular that the show was already renewed for a second season after just one episode. Wow. Is there nothing else to watch on TV? What do you think it is about the show that made it so popular that after 20 years off the air, it could get those kind of numbers? I really just think it's about the, the fact that they're addressing, you know, current issues. This show is just taking a different stance, the opposite way than what most Hollywood really goes with their movies and TV shows. Hollywood is generally more left-leaning and stuff, and this is this is kind of showing the opposite end of the spectrum, and that's not shown in a lot of programs, so anybody leaning in the other direction finally feels like they have a voice. It's hitting on some real sh it's we're talking about this. These are active conversations that people are having every day, and it's showing a glimpse of to inside the homes of, of many people in America. Roseanne follows the everyday life of the Connors, a working class American family. Some feel part of the reason the show is so popular is because Roseanne is playing a Trump supporter, and in her real life, Roseanne has also been a vocal Trump supporter. So some feel the show is appealing to people who feel the same way. I could see that for sure. As long as the show is addressing, you know, um, social issues in the right manner and, and, and keeping an open mind and making, hopefully making people have an open mind about it, then I think it's great. There's been a lot of controversy around this show with those who are opposing the reboot saying that it is quote pro-Trump and that it'll be a weekly lecture on how Trump is great, while others are saying that despite her political views, the show is showcasing the current times and the viewpoints from both parties considering how progressive the show is with all the other issues it addresses. Yeah, it's actually more fair than I gave. I didn't give it a fair shot. Maybe it's more just, you know, what good TV does, which is reflect what's going on in society. I don't want to watch it because I know she's a Trump supporter. And, but it's like, after seeing those clips, like, you do see that there's different, like, views on what's happening right now. I don't really identify with, you know, a Republican viewpoint, but I have older family members that do, and I think it's relatable that you've got that dynamic. I didn't feel like those views are being shoved in my face. I thought it was kind of like universal, that no matter like what your political view is, you could be entertained by it. The show explores various sensitive topics, such as Roseanne's grandson, who insists on dressing in girls' clothing, but still identifies himself as a boy, as well as the differing political viewpoints within the family, with Roseanne and her sister at opposing ends of the political spectrum. Some are saying that there are similarities to the show All in the Family, being that Roseanne is almost anti-conservative because it shows the extreme sides of the political parties, and in general is focusing on issues that American families have always had. Oh, uh, Archie Bunker, yeah. It definitely has elements of that. Any show, I think, that addresses a controversial issue is going to be under the magnifying glass. And I'm sure All in the Family, different time, no internet, no social media, you know, I'm sure people were talking about it, but not to the extent that obviously we'll be talking about Roseanne. I do think that's exactly what good sitcoms do. They do tackle some really hard, bring levity and even humor into some really hard topics. Finally, Roseanne ran for nine years in a different era. Uh, after seeing a little bit from the show today, do you think that Sitcom will be able to survive that long in uh, today's climate? Yeah! I mean, I think we're in 
we're in such a weird time with politics and anything that is going to be so heavily political is gonna get so many views. If 18 million people watch the first episode, then it definitely has the potential to go nine seasons. I just don't think in the climate that we have in television that it's gonna last as long. It's gonna be like the flavor of the month. It, it probably will be very hot this season, but depending on what the political climate is and the social climate is, it could tail off and people just, just be, get tired of it. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Adults React and shout out to Z Reed Sings. Subscribe if you want to see more episodes and shout out to Maggie Pierce. Thanks for watching, bye. Hey guys, we're here, producer at FBE. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe, but also check out and subscribe to our React channel to see the reactors gaming, eating, and so much more. Bye guys.